Hey, it's Tina Forsyth here. There are three different reasons to hire a coach or to become a part of a coaching group or join a mastermind. There is answers, accountability, and belief. Answers, accountability, and belief. Sometimes we need answers. Sometimes we need someone, you know, be a coach or consultant or someone to help us determine, like, how do I get from A to B? What are the, what's the best strategy here? What are the best steps for this, right? Um, you know, answers, when we're in a space, especially in a space of transition or growth, this becomes really, really important. When we reach a certain level of success and we're looking to take things to the next level, you know, the things that get you here are not going to be the things that get you there. And so we need to learn a new way of doing business, a new way of being, a new way of showing up. If you need answers, if you need strategy, you want to be purposeful to work with someone who can bring that to you, right? To work with, and my recommendation here, work with a coach who has been where you want to go. There's a lot of coaches out there with a lot of great experience and all kinds of differing backgrounds. And one of my pet peeves, just keeping it real here with you. Uh, one of my pet peeves is when somebody hires a coach who doesn't get who they are and what their business model is. You know, if you're a service provider, if you're an OBM or a VA or a social media person or a marketer, you know, and, and you do work for your clients and then you hire a coach who only understands the coaching industry and how to be a great coach or a great trainer or something like that. And then what they're telling you to do is, oh, go become a coach now, right? Like me. You know, it's just when you're looking for answers, hire someone who has been where you want to go, right? That's just integrity. That's authenticity. When you're looking for accountability, so the second reason to hire a coach is accountability. And accountability kicks in when we know what we need to do. We know what we need to do. And it's human nature to varying degrees to need you know, a container around us, to need a loving kick in the butt from time to time, <laughs> to need some good structure around us for habits and taking action and moving forward. You know, accountability is an important thing at various stages of growth. And so when we're left to our own devices, it, it can be easy sometimes to just not be taking action and not be moving forward in the way we want to be. So if you're looking for accountability, make sure you're looking for a coach or a program or a structure that really sets you up for that, that really is a good container. And that's gonna call you out, you know, if you're not moving forward, maybe give you that kick in the butt that you need along the way. The last reason, the third reason is belief belief. Left to our own devices, we are only going to believe what's possible to the degree that our own, you know, belief structure allows it, right? Based on our experience, based on uh, how we were raised, based on what we see as possible in the world. The, one of the most valuable aspects of coaching, and I really think this third piece is one of the most valuable aspects of coaching, and it's something we need from time to time. We need someone who can see in us something bigger than we're just going to see for ourselves. We need someone who can truthfully, and I don't mean in a BS fluffy, like you can have whatever you want in the world, like meh, no thanks. I'm talking about somebody who really sees who we are, acknowledges our strengths, our wisdom, our experience, acknowledges our desires, and can really say, here's what's possible for you. Here's what's possible for you. That has been some of the most valuable coaching I've received in my life. I was actually just up on my shelf here. I was, I had found not too long ago, um, the, what you call these, um, the whole, like these are the, the flip chart things from a coaching session I did almost 10 years ago with my coach David Nagel at the time. And it was a planning session, right? And it was just little old me coming in there, wanting to grow my business, terrified, <laughs> to be honest, like scared shitless, to be honest, and having no clue what was possible. And I remember when, when we laid this out, when we laid out the things that are on these two pieces of paper here, I remember at the time looking at that and going, come on now, this ain't gonna happen. There's no way, right? Like, you know, on one hand, like, ooh, yeah, that would be cool, I love it. And on the other hand, like, hell no, come on now, dude, that's just not gonna happen for me. The truth is, when I look back on this, when I found these recently and I look back on it, a lot of the things that are on these two pieces of paper have already come true. Uh, some of the other ones are in progress, you know, some of them, them, of course, we're continuing to grow and expand in general. But it was really interesting to see, you know, when I look at this thing now, even the things that haven't come true yet, I know that they're possible. I can see them happening. 
I can see the possibility. We're taking steps towards developing some of these things. And all of this started with the belief of my coach being bigger than the belief I had in myself. The belief of my coach being bigger than the belief that I have in myself. Left to my own devices, I don't know that I would have done certainly uh, many of the things that I've done in my business over the years. Left to my own devices and not having those around me, because I've worked with many different coaches over the years. I've been a part of amazing mastermind groups. I've been very purposeful to have people around me who can see something bigger in me than I can see for myself. Without that in place, I don't know that I would have made the progress that I've made. We all need this from time to time, right? We all need this from time to time. And so hiring a coach when you really want to need that, when you're feeling like, I know there's something else, or I'm not, you know, even when you can see what it is, but you're like, yikes, I'm not sure. You're bumping up against those limiting beliefs or upper limit problem, whatever you want to call that. This is where we need a coach. We need somebody or a coach or a group that's really going to hold, you know, see what's possible for us and hold our feet to the fire. Challenge our beliefs. Challenge us to keep moving towards that thing. So three different reasons to hire a coach. Know what it is you want and need right now and hire a coach or become a part of a group that fits that. If you're looking for a belief and you're hiring a strategic coach, meh, may not be the best fit. Vice versa, right? If you're looking for strategy and you're hiring an accountability coach or you're hiring a belief coach, meh, may not be the best fit for you. Be aware of what it is you need right now. Look to find someone. There's so many amazing coaches and groups and everything out there, right? Look to find someone that can meet that space right now. And then all things are possible at that point. So from my heart to yours, I mean, my wish for you truly is to get the support you need on this journey. None of us are meant to go it alone. None of us are. And so for you to get the support you need on this journey, um, that's so, so important. And that it really is part of what makes it, you know, not just enjoyable, but actually helps us get to where we want to go. So until next time, everybody, it's Tina Forsyth. Take care. Bye now.